Hello once again and welcome to ICT for Teachers where in today's video I want to show you how I mark students scripts from my desktop. What are the steps involved? You know after every lesson that I teach I give an assignment or I give some work to the students and in most of the time I will demand to see that work so that I can see whether my teaching it has an effect on the student's understanding of the concept. So, I would send some work to the student. I will send it in the form of PDF. The student on the other side can download this PDF, print, that is get a hard copy, and then attempt the assignment. Then, the student is going to scan that script or to scan their scripts in PDF format and then mail it to me. I'm making an assumption here that on the other end, the school from where this student comes from has a printer and has a scanner. Some of these equipment are very basic and each school should have this equipment a printer and a scanner because the student will need to print the assignment, do the assignment and then scan that assignment and then mail it back to me. I will instruct the student to scan that, uh, that assignment as a PDF. Now the moment they mail it back to me, I can now go and open that file which is a PDF. The software I will use to open that PDF is Microsoft Edge Browser. Microsoft Edge Browser. The Microsoft Edge Browser is particularly good when it comes to inking PDFs. For instance, over here you can see I'm using the Microsoft Edge Browser to open this student's assignment. And now I can use my graphics tablet to try and mark this assignment. How is that possible? When you look at this bar over here, you'll find that there is a tab written draw. So click on that arrow there to reveal uh, the pen and the colors that you can be able to use. Since I am marking this assignment, I'll probably use red. So I'll choose red. And then I'm going to adjust the thickness of the pen that I'm going to use. Maybe something like that. And then now I can close it. And now you can see I have a pen. I have a pen and I can be able now to mark this student's work. I can be able to scroll through the student's work. Okay, in this video, I'm not particularly concerned whether the answers are correct or not. I just want to show you what you do. Now, uh, with Microsoft Edge, when I capture the screen, somehow the cursor does not move along uh, where I want it to be. For example, now the cursor is right here. But when I start marking, but this one just happens when I am recording this screen for the sake of this video. So uh, I will go over here and, you know, mark. Like I said, I'm not concerned whether the answers are correct or not. I just want to ink this PDF. And you can see, Whatever I'm doing here is exactly is exactly what we teachers do. We get a script. You get your red pen, such as this one. And then you mark the student's scripts. And you can see over here, I'm actually inking the PDF. I'm even able to scroll down. To scroll down. And let's assume maybe some work like this. Maybe this one is uh, uh, something which I want the students to avoid doing. So I'll come here and be able to, you know, circle it like that. Like I said, the cursor may not be changing when I'm using the graphics tablet to do that. By the moment I go back to my mouse, it appears. We are able to capture that. Is something that is just one of those hitches with this browser, but it's a good browser for inking students' work. And you can see, whatever I do with it, 
is exactly what you always do when you're marking student scripts. Even in situations where I have maybe a graph, you can see the student has presented this graph. And you can see it is so clear. Once it is scanned, it appears very, very clear. And I'm able again to mark uh, uh, this work for the students and even be able to make simple corrections where I feel the, the student is not getting the answer correct. And even be able to, to write down the marks per page. Like you can see, all the pages that I have inked, the inking remains there. So how does the student get the results back? Let's assume I've marked the whole script. I have awarded the marks and now I need the students to get this script back. The process is the same. I'll simply go to this tab here, written, save, click it, and then I will save this file as a PDF, of course, with the student's name, and then I'll put a dash and then say marked or marked script. Once I have saved it in the relevant folder where I keep all the students marked scripts, I'm now able to send it back to the student, mail it back to the student. I can use the email of the school. I can use the, the email that have been provided by that particular school. I can use the student's direct email if that one is allowed. Whatever kind of system the school on the other end is using, I'm able to communicate with the teachers and with the students. So you see how easy it is. What again did you, do you need? You need a graphics tablet. And I explained at length how we use this graphics tablet to teach real-time teaching and how uh, now we can use it for marking students' work. Yesterday, I talked about this particular gadget. It's a very important gadget. So, you can go to the video, which is up there. If you missed that video, just play that video once again. It's a very short video, but it's got a lot of important information that can help us to teach students from a remote point. We are trying to bridge the gap, but at the same time, make it to be as natural as possible. We don't want to change so much the way we teach students because that is the best way. The best way to teach a student is by having a real teacher there teaching the student. The best way to assess students is to have the real script, marking the real script. That is the best way of doing it. But this time, because of the distances involved, the student is very far away from the teacher. We are forced to adapt this method. So in my channel, I want to bridge that gap so that you don't experience so much change. For instance, using the graphics tablet makes it easier for you to write with your own hand, to write on the board, to write on the whiteboard with your own hand, which is something that you are used to. Marking students scripts, the only difference is you will now be looking at the screen while you put the marks on the graphics tablet here. That is the only difference. So there are slight changes that you might have to make, but it is understandable why you are making those changes because of the distances involved between you and your student. So I hope this video has been of value to you. If you're new here and you have not subscribed yet to ICT for Teachers, please go ahead and subscribe because I've got a lot of resources there. I've made so many videos on so many things that teachers can be able to do using ICT and maybe you may be struggling with one thing or another. Just scroll all the videos in my channel after subscription and um, which is of course free of charge. I don't charge you for subscribing to my channel. Go through all the videos and probably you will come across one where I'm addressing 
um, a real problem that you face or you come across one where I'm making some unique suggestions on how you can go about using ICT. You may already be involved in this kind of uh, process where you're using ICT to teach students who are at a remote point and you may have encountered various challenges. I would be very happy if you can share some of those challenges with me. Just go to the comments below, write some of those challenges that you're encountering and I'll be able to see whether I can be of any assistance to you. Otherwise, until next time when I come up with uh, another video on how to use ICT to teach your favorite subject, it's bye-bye.